Das ist ein Messer. Das ist ein Messer. Das ist ein Messer. Probably the smallest fish, but it got my heart rate up. <laughs> I felt something on there though. There's definitely something playing with it. And I know it's probably going to be near some structure, so I got to drag it all the way tight on this thing. Dude, it'd be cool if it's a fucking catfish. I mean, I don't know though. It almost feels like there's a guy in there shooting on it. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, I did. It might be stuck already, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it's just waiting for me to suck a hook. It's yet to like really go away from me. It's like just chilling in the same spot. That's really kind of what I'm waiting for, for it to just like move with it. This is pretty exciting. I hope I, I hope I can catch it, you know what I'm saying? It could be something big, it could be, it could be a catfish, it could be dope as a catfish. I might suck a hook on it, try to suck a hook on it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna be on there. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, something's on. It feels pretty good, I mean, not huge, but. Ooh, that's solid. It's coming up. What do you think you got? Oh. A catfish! Jeez! A nice cat! It, bro, I think that's a flathead! That is a flathead, dude! Did you hold it? Nah, I, I think I can get it. Hold this up. Dude, that's a nice flathead. Thank you. Oh, that's a flathead. Oh, this one's not on a stringer for sure. What is nice. Dude! Yeah. Badass! Yeah. A nice flathead, dude. These are really good eating. Dude, that's dinner right That's a pretty good one, too. Yes. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Nice little hook set. Nice flathead. All right, it's still pretty early. Nine o'clock, nine on nine. And we got, I got myself a flathead. 38th birthday today. That's a good little present right there. Beautiful flathead. This, these are the most sought after catfish. Blue cats are underneath that and then channel cats are kind of the worst as far as freshwater goes. And, Flathead, these are the best eating. And just pretty and give a good fight. Dude, it's in there. I'm gonna pull, pull back on it. Here, why don't you put it down? Or, or do you wanna do it? Yeah, yeah. Alright, a Brazos cat caddy. Yep. That's a good fish right there. Not raised on a farm. Oh, eating fresh organic. I'm about to be fresh and organic. Yeah. Putting this guy on a stringer right now. Look how big that fish is. Still, still just smashing right now. Oh, this thing is. And I was hoping for a catfish, bro. Yeah. Something different. That was a, a nice one. Yeah. Uh, how, how much do you think that weighed? Uh, maybe 10 pounds. Yeah. Not very big, but enough for some good amount of my meat. Yeah. Fry something up. All right, I'm about to process this fish. Let's get in some cold water. I actually bled it out while it was in the cooler. And uh, I mean, this this ice water is super blood red. Probably drained about a quart out of his body, probably, if I had to guess, of blood. So maybe like a pound or so of blood. 
So it'll be a little bit lighter on the scales than if I hadn't let them, but. All right, go ahead and lift it up. Yeah. It's an eight pound fish. <laughs> it's an eight pound fish? Yeah. That's what I guessed. Get it first. Are you gonna measure it first? I'm trying to get this flat nose. Yeah, I just flatten it like that on it. Right? Yeah, right. right, well, good to kind of estimate on its length. It's it was bended in or it was bent in some cold water for a while so I'm kind of straighten it out it's around 30. Okay. 29 with a little bit of a bend in it in the middle. Mm -hmm. About I would say about 30. It was all the way straight. The meat is still pretty cold right now. It's stuck in one spot. Look how bloody this water is. Let out and get them out in there. 30 inch, or about a 29 inch catfish. If it was all the way straight, it'd be about 30. <clears throat> Man, eight pounds. Good size. Good size flathead. Should be able to get a good amount of meat off of it. Pretty colors. It's got that nice yellow and green. Cool fish. Uh, I'll just pet it. You pet it? I'm like. gonna pet it. It's dead. I'm gonna pet it. How would you pet it? What if it if it comes back to life? Why is it so your touch slimy? Makes it come back to life. Why is it so slimy? It loses its life in water. No, I'm not taking the picture, not me. He did look a lot fatter too, man. He lost all that blood. Uh, all right, I'm gonna get it first. I know some people do this differently, but that's how I've always done it. You just come up through this booty hole so you're not cutting through the, uh, do anything good. Open up the intestines. So you slid it all the way up under his chin. A bunch of good belly meat too. Pretty much separated. This is a lot of good meat, dude. Belly meat and this meat, this flow is kind of good.
All right, boom, there's one good filet right there. One really nice filet. Yeah, you can put that in the mess, but this is the rest of this belly meat. Damn, I gotta get them out of that off too. Without the ribs being there. That's like all rib meat. And that's, a bunch of, that's another nice filet. Boom, off this one side. That's all That's all ribs right there. Got all the meat off this one side for the most part. I mean, I could probably get a little bit more off there, but not a whole lot, but two big old filets, the belly and the back off that one side. I'm gonna do this other side now. I'll skin them inside. It's an interesting process. Yeah. Good play. Nice play right there. Next stop. And just got the belly meat left and I'm done. That's half. I actually need one play. That's Yeah. But, uh, you know you guys did some good meat. And you kind of like learn the anatomy of the whole thing. Yeah, how to get around the bones and stuff. You got some good meat off there, dude. Yeah, another nice filet. Uh, you got some good meat, dude. Yeah, I, I filet that good. There's not a lot left on this fish. Not a lot of meat left on that fish. Oh, yeah, I even skinned it. <laughs> so I got all the meat off it. But there's some in the head, too. I'm going to try to get that off. It's like cheek meat. Remember on the redfish? Yeah. Got this on the catfish. Did Ryan set you up for success by sharpening that fillet knife for you? Don't you think that helped? Oh yeah. Huh? Yeah, dude. It was a sharp knife. And it's like, you can like sharpen a knife really quickly actually. Meat right there, that's actually like some of the best part of meat. Yeah, that's a good good piece of meat. A lot easier to play than a dang jar. Yeah. Nice so piece of meat. You pretty much use that whole animal. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna skin him out. Got that piece of skin off. It's just a nice, clean piece of filet. A nice filet right there. No the skin. Let me get a pile of meat off of it, but it's close enough. Alright, boom, another nice piece of meat off there.
good piece of meat right there too. Oh. All right, I got all the skin off of them. That eight pound fish. Oh dang, I gotta get the skin off the chin, cheek. It just pulls right off the cheek meat, the skin does. That's gonna be a good piece right there. Every good side is lucky. I don't put this aside actually. This is the cheek meat. Boom, other piece of cheek meat or skin came off pretty easily. Then two nice pieces of cheek meat. Those are the best parts right there, but and a bunch of meat right here. A bunch of good white meat, flaky. You wanna cut them down into smaller pieces right now? This is gonna be delish. That's the belly meat right here. These are the back straps. Boom, got the cheek meat. Smaller, friable pieces. Yeah, just them. cut them down into smaller pieces. We'll fry them up. Should be real good. All right, I'm gonna cut them down into smaller, friable pieces. This is the fun part of fishing, actually, just cooking up the fish and eating it. I caught the fish uh, two days ago on my birthday, July 21st. This is uh, July 23rd, so it's a couple days later. What? I processed it yesterday. I got it all cleaned up and cooking it the day after that. So Less than 48 hours, I'm gonna be eating that fish. So nice and fresh. And this is the meat I ended up with. So really fresh. Flathead catfish meat. This is the cheek meat actually, so I got that separated. This is the cake that he has for his little birthday, his widow birthday. This is the cake. Looks pretty good. All right, I got a little little process going. I got the uh, egg and the fish right here. This will go here in a second. And then I got two bags of this, and I got two fryers going. Just to make it quicker, so otherwise it just takes forever. So there's a little tip, just use two bags when you're doing your shake and bake, and two things of oil. Tasting it good. Okay. 
Smells good, looks good. Flathead cafe is uh, the best kind of cafe there is. And I just wanted to make sure I was not And why don't you decide to It's delicious. All right, gonna try some of this uh, catfish. See how it tastes. I think Laura and Gary have been liking it. Coming back for seconds. All right, this is the cheek meat. This is supposed to be like the best, most tender, juicy. Wait, there's part. chicken meat? I cooked it last, so it's freaking hot. No, it's cheek meat. It's like off the top part of the skull. I call it cheek, cheek meat. Or head meat, I guess. Wow. That is extremely juicy. Did you try a bite of this, Jennifer. This is the best okay. part. You wanna try it? No, I'll give it to Mom. Come on, we gotta film him. No, I don't get me. Alright, this is the cheek meat. It's hot. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Of course it's hot. <laughs> it is, it is. Dip it. Dip it. Good, huh? <laughs> Spicy. I know. Alright, well that's it. I, had a, I was lucky enough to get a flathead for my birthday. I'm enjoying it right now. The family seems to be enjoying it. So. Give it! It was good. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>